Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we're going to react to 21 Pilots Neon Gravestones, the official audio. Uh, I don't know why the screen's up already, but ignore that. Um, it's been a while, I say this with a lot of artists now, but it's been a while since I've done 21 Pilots, but they're obviously one of my favourites so far on the channel, I mean, I can't get enough of them, and I'm just excited to put more songs by them into my playlist. So. This one I think I had recommended to me once a long time ago and I added it to my list and I was just looking around for songs that you know I haven't done by 21 Pilots yet and you know the, the name stuck out to me so we're going to do this one. Uh, it's the official audio so it's the official 21 Pilot channel. Don't know what to expect, <laughs> let's just get into it. I have lyrics over here too as always. I'm ready to absolutely love it because come on it's 21 Pilots. So I'm three. Two, one, let's kick it. Mm. Okay, I hate to pause it right there already, but is that Moonlight Sonata right there? Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it sounds like a sample of Moonlight Sonata. Already got me. I love my classical music, so if they're starting with a Moonlight Snot, a little piano section, I'm happy about it. Let's go. I need to react to classical music eventually. I love classical music. Follow me down to the bottom underneath the insane asylum. Keep your wits about you while you got them. Cause your wits are first to go while your problem solving in my mm. problem. We glorify those even more when they. My opinion, our culture can treat a loss like it's a win. And right before we turn on them, we give them the highest of praise and hang the banner from a ceiling. Communicating further, engraving an earlier grave is an optional way. No. The ungrave stones try to call. Wow. I'm gonna have to replay this again, I think. I'm not gonna go back all the way, but at the end, I might replay it again. Um, as always, you know, he just comes, um, Tyler just comes straight in, you know, he just starts rapping and it catches me by surprise, but I've caught up. I think I get the gist of the song already, you know. He's describing it very beautifully, but he says, Cause your wits are first to go while you are problem solving and my problem we glorify those even more when they And then just that silence, that pause. It like it hits harder than him saying like when they die or when they commit suicide or whatever it is he's saying. But I think it's pretty obvious he's talking about how when people die or maybe when they do suicide, how we kind of put them on a pedestal and we we celebrate them more when they're dead and i i talk i think i've talked about this before in some other songs and just in general i hate that it's i hate that artists have to die for them to get big sometimes you know juice world is one of them you know i'd never heard of juice world until after he died and now everybody suddenly loves him um same with meatloaf even i mean meatloaf for you don't for you guys who don't know and girls and others. <laughs> uh, he's he's a rock legend. Rock legend. And, you know, he, he got a lot of praise. He got the respect he deserved when he was alive. But when he died, that's when everybody started doing, like, reaction videos to him and stuff. And I understand that's just to, you know, pay respect, but... It's just upsetting to know that artists get bigger when they die. And I think what he's trying to say here is, you know... As, as an audience, as fans, we're the ones who glorify it by going out there and acting like these people are larger than life when they're dead rather than when they're alive. 
it's a beautiful message. I'm gonna I'm not gonna pause it. And I think Neon Gravestones also is a pretty good um is it a metaphor? No, I don't know. I I forgot my English words. But um because I'm pretty sure what he's saying is, you know, neon gravestones, like neon signs grab your attention. And so when you're dead, you know, if you have a big neon graves uh gravestone, it'll just people draw their attention to it. And they'll be like, oh, look at that gravestone, you know, and they'll celebrate it because it's such a beautiful gravestone. I think that's what he's going on about, but I'm sorry to pause so long. Jeez, it's just, I didn't expect it to be about this. <laughs> let's go, let's go. these sound effects what's my problem don't get it twisted it's with the people we praise who may have assisted i could use the streams and extra conversations i could give up and boost up my reputation mm. i could go out with a bang they would know my name they would host and post a celebration my opinion will not be lenient my opinion it's real convenient our words are loud but now i'm talking action we don't get enough love well they get a fraction they say how could he go if he's got everything i'll mourn for a kid but won't cry for a king mm. this is a powerful song and i think it's something that i hate to say it but it's something that this uh 21 pilot community really needs to hear because it might be unfair to say but i know you know, they've got a lot of songs about suicide and just death and depression in general. And I think a lot of fans, um, from what I've seen in like comments and on just fan websites and such, they make it seem like the suicide and stuff is something to celebrate. And I don't know if that's just maybe because they enjoy the music so much that they just want to talk about it like that. Or if they generally, genuinely think that, you know, it's a topic that is worth celebrating. I doubt that, but you know, you never know with some people. Uh, but it's just the way he puts it, especially I like this line. Our words are loud, but now I'm taking action. We don't get enough love. Well, they get a fraction. And he's saying, you know, that I think, you know, these celebrities and stuff, they get all the, they don't get, they get all this attention when they're dead. Yeah, we've talked about that, but they don't get enough support when they actually need it, you know, when they're suffering, when they're actually going through this mental stuff, when they're at their lowest, we don't as much, oh, we don't celebrate them as much and help them get through that, you know, until they're actually dead and it's too late. Because um, the good thing about Tom Parts is they've got this platform where they can talk about this sort of thing, you know, he can talk about his problems um, and people will be like, well, we care for you, you know, we're here for you. And I genuinely believe they think that. But there's a lot of celebrities who don't talk about this sort of stuff. Um, just, you know, regular artists um, or even just actors, you know, they can't use the platform for similar stuff. You know, if you if you look at someone like, who can I talk about? Robbie Williams, maybe. Um, Robbie Williams is, you know, he's a, he's a big artist. He makes these flashy songs about, you know... <laughs> promiscuity and promiscuity yeah promiscuity and you know love what if he was depressed you know he can't suddenly go from talking about sex and womanizing to talking about his problems uh even robin williams another another williams you know we all loved him while he was alive but we didn't realize you know what he was going through until it was too late so it's an important message, and I think they've done a really good job at telling the story. For a kid, but won't cry for a king. Promise me this. If I lose to myself, you won't mourn a day, and you move on to someone else. Promise me this If I lose to myself You won't mourn a day And you move on to someone else A 
persons. There's a couple things I want to talk about real quick. Firstly, Josh, as always, when he's drumming, compared to other bands, I feel like I can notice his drumming a lot more. Like, even in this little break here, when it's quieter on this bridge, like, his, his drums just come through so crisp. They won't get them, but they won't get them. So, you know, or as always, props to Josh. I mean, he's top drummers, top five drummers at least, maybe top three. I have to think of a drummer's in my head, but, you know, he's he's amazing. Now, I also want to talk about the piano. You know, if you've watched some of my videos before, you've probably heard me talk about how much I adore piano. Um, this is no different. I mean, it sounds like they've, they're have they doing Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. Um, hold up. Oh, what the hell? It sounds like they're doing, um, yeah, Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. Uh, the first movement where it's just, you know, it's gentle, dun, 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 dun. And they've kind of mixed it up. So it's, it sounds unique, but you can still kind of hear that they may have sampled that. Let me know if I'm wrong, but either way, Moonlight Sonata is a beautiful song. Let's get into it. Really catchy chorus. Don't get me wrong, the rise in awareness is beating a stigma that no longer scares us. But for sake of discussion and spirit of fairness, could we give this some room for a new point of view? And could it be true that some... Mm. Okay, he wants people to open their minds and, you know, listen to a different perspective. Because, you know, we hear these perspectives about, I guess we're normalizing suicide and mental illness now. You know, media, music, even like movies and stuff. I mean, I guess that is media, but... You know, suicide and mental illness is very normal now. You know, we don't really bat an eyelid to it as much as we used to, probably. Um, and people just throw it around, you know, like, oh, I'm depressed, oh, I've got suicide, when maybe they don't, and there's actual people out there who do. Um, I'm not saying that's everyone, of course, but I've seen people who are like that. You know, one bad thing happens in their life, and they act like all of a sudden they've got, like, a huge mental illness. And, you know, I don't like talking about it, but, of course, I've been through similar stuff. Um, and it is just normalized now because you could probably tell your friends about it and I'd be like, oh yeah, oh well, because it's so normal now. No one really cares anymore about it. At least that's my perspective. Um, but I like this. It's, it's kind of like another verse and he's still rhyming and rapping in a way, but it's like he's talking directly to the audience. I think this is going to be a good way to, you know, speak to his fans about a real issue. Sake of discussion. Let's let's go back to the stop again. No, they won't get them. They won't get them. But they won't get them. Don't get me wrong, the rise in awareness is beating a stigma that no longer scares us. But for sake of discussion and spirit of fairness, could we give this some room for a new point of view? And could it be true that some could be tempted to use this mistake as a form of aggression, a form of succession, a form of a weapon, thinking I'll teach them while well, I'm refusing the lesson? It won't resonate in our minds. I'm not disrespecting what was left behind Just pleading that it does not get glorified Maybe we swap out what it is that we hold so high Find your grandparents or someone of age Pay some respects for the path that they paved To life they were dedicated Now that should be celebrated mm. Amen Wow What a song, honestly, what a song like he's not trying to he's not trying to be disrespectful to people who are victims of suicide. He just doesn't want it to be used as a threat. Um, because he says here, 
Could it be true that some could be tempted to use this mistake as a form of aggression, a form of succession, a form of a weapon, thinking I'll teach them while I'm refusing the lesson? And I think that's something that actually does happen a lot. I think I hear about that as myself as well um, when I'm listening to music. Uh, people use suicide as a threat now. Um, you know, if something isn't going their way, they'll be like, oh, I'm going to kill myself. And that's meant to be a threat when it's a real issue a lot of people go through. Um, it's so dramatized now, I'd say. That's, that's my problem with it. And I like that he's talked about this issue because mental mental illness in general is very dramatized. And, you know, because of that, people just don't think of it as as bad as it is anymore. So I like how he says, you know, pay some respect for the path they have paved to life they were dedicated. Now that should be celebrated. And, you know, that's true. You should celebrate life. I mean, why are we celebrating people after they're dead? We should celebrate them while they're alive. That's just makes sense. Anyway, we're going to end it here. Um, I'm going to re-listen to this. So I'll do a quick ending. And if you want to just vibe with me and listen without any pauses, let's do it. But um, thanks for watching all those who are going to call it uh, a quit here. I don't think that was English, but you know what I mean. Um, we'll see you in the next video. I have a NF reaction maybe coming out today. And I've also got a Marcelito Pomoy reaction. So, you know, I had a couple breaks uh, just because of power outages lately. I don't know what's been going on. There's been a couple bushfires around my city. That might be why. Uh, so I was planning to get, get this out yesterday and the day before. Both days just fell through my schedule because of that. So I'm glad to get it through today. Hopefully power doesn't go out before I can upload it. We'll see. Uh, but thanks to everybody who's watched so far. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video. Okay. And now if you want to stick around and listen to some music, just close your eyes and let it drift away. I love this piano. Follow me down to the bottom Underneath the insane asylum Keep your wits about you Why you got them Cause your wits are first to go While your problem solving And my problem We glorify those even more when they My opinion our culture can treat a loss Like it's a win And right before we turn on them We give them the highest of praise And hang the banner from a ceiling Communicating further Engraving an earlier grave Is an optional way No The ungraves don't try to call Such a catchy chorus already. Oh. What's well, my problem? Don't get it twisted. It's with the people we praise who may have assisted. I could use the streams and extra conversations. I could give up and boost up my reputation. I could go out with a bang. They would know my name. They would host and post a celebration. My opinion will not be lenient. My opinion, it's real convenient Our words are loud, but now I'm talking action We don't get enough love, well they get a fraction They say, how could he go if he's got everything? I'll mourn for a kid, but won't cry for a king The drumming, I'm telling you Such a talented drummer and It doesn't get in the way of the music It's just It works so well Promise me this if I lose to myself, you won't mourn a day, and you move on to someone else. Promise me this, if I lose to myself, you won't mourn a day, and you move on to someone else.
and awareness is beating a stigma that no longer scares us but for sake of discussion and spirit of fairness could we give this some room for a new point of view and could it be true that some could be tempted to use this mistake as a form of aggression a form of succession a form of a weapon thinking i'll teach them well i'm refusing the lesson it won't resonate in our minds I'm not disrespecting what was left behind Just pleading that it does not get glorified Maybe we swap out what it is that we hold so high Find your grandparents or someone of age Pay some respects for the path that they paved To life they were dedicated Now that should be celebrated mm. What a great song Really, that's got to go into favourite list instantly Um, And that piano I lost myself in that piano in the last minute or so. <laughs> this is a really powerful song, and it, you know, it has meanings, because um, it still happens to this day, you know. But it's nice to have someone out there who's, you know, talking about the issue, because it's not going to stop anytime soon. You know, people are going to continue dying, and we're going to continue thinking of them as legends once they're dead rather than when they're alive um but it's a beautiful song beautiful song beautiful piano beautiful drumming josh and tyler never disappoint never so thanks for sticking around if you wanted to watch this this vibing um if not you're not here anymore so we're gonna call i'm not gonna do a big outro because we already did it uh thanks for watching everybody i do hope you enjoyed if you want to tell me anything about the song, how it helped you, what you think of it, your interpretation, anything like that, leave it in the comments down below, please. But with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.